Hi everyone, it's Chelsea from St Albans Library. Today I've got a really fun activity. I'm going to show you how to do some stop motion animation. Stop motion is like a special form of animation um, that, you, that you might have seen on some movies, like one of my favourites, which is um, Nightmare Before Christmas, which is a Tim Burton stop motion animation movie. What you do is um, take lots of little photos and then stitch them all together to make movement. Um, all you need for this is a device. You can use a phone or a tablet. Um, if there's a free app, which I'll show you how to download. Um, and then you're just, uh, just use your imagination. The sky's the limit. All right, let's get started. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like on your device. So I've already got my app downloaded here stop motion studio so we go into that and now it's really easy to navigate um, what when we want to start a new movie so click on new movie oh it's going to give us some little pointers now the whole idea with stop motion animation is that we take lots and lots of photos and they all stitch together to make a um, to make a movie um, so I'm gonna try to make a popcorn movie. So I've got my homemade popcorn uh, container and I've got some unpopped corn. And I'm gonna have a go at making uh, a video where the popcorn pops. Okay, so see the big red button? It says tap here to add some photos. So we tap that to take our first photo. Let's have a go. Line it up and... Now the idea is that we make very small changes for each photo um, and when they're all stitched together it will look like um, it will look like a seamless film. So what I'm going to do is replace Place my kernel with a popped corn. Okay, take another photo. Okay, and swap another kernel. Okay, make a small change and make a small change. I'm going to keep doing that and I'll be back. Okay, so now I've gone ahead and taken a whole heap more pictures. If you can see here, I've got 41 pictures. Um, and when I press the play button here, it shows them all together. Now, did you see my finger? There was one that I took that had my hand in the way. So what I can do is actually is delete that so you can delete some pictures and find the one that had my oh see this one here i got my hand in the way so i just press on that one and another um, menu comes up i can delete that and get that one out of the way okay so that's my final video a couple of things to remember when you're making your stop motion. Um, the, my first tip is to try and hold your tablet or your phone as still as possible. You'll notice in mine that I kind of waver around a little bit. I find it hard to hold a big tablet still, so you might find it easier to use a phone. It's a bit easier to hold still. And if you have like a tripod or that type of setup, um, that will help keep your film really still. Um, the other thing to remember is to just make really small little changes. The smaller the changes, um, the more st smoother your final film will be. Um, so after this I'll show you what mine looks like and I can't wait to see some of your stop motion animation. You can use anything that you like. You might like to use some Lego figures. Um, you might like to cut out some paper shapes to make your story. 
You might like to uh, use just some toys or things around your house, um, some, make some models out of, um, out of Play-Doh, that sort of thing. Um, it's only limited by your imagination. Um, so if you do make a, make a video, I'd love to see it. Um, you can send it to us and I'll see you next time.